I tried it like 15 times, 20 times. I didn't get the glitch to work, man. I wanted to walk around with with the, that form because that looks so beautiful. Like, they should have want? it like Criminals toggle like on and off if right you wanted now. to have it on because that looks drift. good. We just want to ask you a simple question. Have you ever discovered anything odd during your nighttime patrols? Are you asking about something like that? Whatever happens at night isn't your concern. All you need to worry about is getting enough sleep. Uh... Well... You see, sometimes we hear strange noises at night. R right! We've heard it happens a few times every night. Oh. Paimon has sensitive ears, so it makes it hard to sleep. Really? I see. Uh, but it's not like I'm on duty every night. Oh. And now that you mention it, I recall my colleagues talking about something like that before. They say that strange things tend to happen at night on pipe cleaning days. Lots of us don't willingly take those shifts. So, what happens at night on pipe cleaning days? They find bodies. <laughs> they just conduct regular cleaning of the fortress's drainage facilities. There are three pipe cleaning days per month. And it just so happens that today is one of the scheduled days. Ooh. You can try to confirm the sounds tonight if you want. And if they're real, then I can report the issue to my superiors for you. Oh, that's very that's really nice. Oh, okay. Then we'll keep both ears out tonight. Now, if that's all, then I'll be leaving now. I advise you not to try anything funny, though. Even if I'm not on duty tonight, someone will still be watching you. Uh, okay, yes, sir. Don't worry, we don't want any time added to our sentences. <laughs> oh, he left. So what do you think about the pipe cleaning days he mentioned? Those might be the days when the cannibals are active. But it might also be nothing, just the pipes being clean. Right, both are a possibility. But Fielden did say that tonight is a cleaning night. No reason not to find out the truth for ourselves. Paimon knew you would say that. Alright, sounds like we'll be up all night tonight then. Yay. Paimon just hopes the guards don't catch us. We're gonna have to sneak, that's for sure. We're gonna do some sneaky mini games. <laughs> gonna be fun, excited. Excited to sneak a sneak. I'm the best sneaker ever. I sneak around oh, these Rubik cubes. I'm so tired. But we can't sleep yet. They'll be cleaning the pipes tonight, so it's the perfect chance for us to investigate. We just need to wait until everyone else uh, has fallen asleep. If we miss our chance tonight, uh, it'll be a while before we get another opportunity. <sighs> Whatever. Just be sure to wake Paimon if she dozes off. Paimon's worried something might happen if you go alone. Ah, uh, I'm about to fall asleep, man. Huh? Traveler? Did you fall asleep already? Well, uh, Paimon? It's the vision for sure. Oh, uh, uh, it's the vision! Huh? 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 Run, 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 run. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. Huh? What was that? Is that one there? Hmm, I swear I saw something. Or heard something. Ah, loser. See ya. <laughs> It's those guys! Uh, sup dude, what's going on man? Uh, nothing, I'm just uh, trying to escape. Something is calling me, I have to go. What, what a weird guy. <laughs> Goodbye guys, I'm out of here. <laughs> Traveler, come on, wake up! Huh? Huh? Oh. Uh, I, uh, I saw a child in my dream again. Oh, it looks like you were just peacefully sleeping to Paimon. Well, what did you see this time? 
Investigating the pipe tonight is the right call. Shall escape via the pipes. Really? So we're finally starting to figure out what actually happened. But what about the cannibals? How do you explain them? I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Okay, well it's about time for us to get moving. Just be careful to avoid the patrolling guards. Okay, here we go. Sneaky time. Okay, here we go. Watch. I'm um, first try uh, blindfolded and uh, 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 color. Well, that doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. Okay, watch this. Uh. Okay. Shh, careful. We'll get in trouble if the guards catch us. Okay, okay. I don't. I don't, I don't even see any guards. Where, where, where? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I saw them now, I saw them now. Hey, not this way. We need to get to that pipe, remember? No shoot, but there's like guards there. Are you stumbling or something? Are you are you are you Woo! Hey, not this way. We need to get to that pipe, remember? I know Paimon, just be quiet. I uh, how are we gonna <laughs> They're watching there and there And there's there's a guy over there. What am I supposed to do? Can I, can I, like... Can I go around him somehow? You think I can go behind him? Uh -oh. <gasps> oh, 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 I, uh, uh, guys, 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 that, that actually doesn't count. Come on, that, that doesn't even count because, um, what happened was, like, it just didn't count because... Course he was gonna do that. Of course he was gonna do that, man. I I I, I knew that. I knew that. Uh, what's this? <laughs> oh, nice. Hmm, this should be the place. That 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 didn't count, guys. First, I'm still on my first try. <laughs> oh, frog! Nice. Oh, is this guy? I know you. You were the ones we saw. Yeah. Huh. You've got guts showing up here. You know who we are, right? Nope. You'd better leave now. Ain't nobody coming here to save you. Enough with this theatrics. What you say? All those rumors about camels and hidden rules were started by you, weren't they? Yeah. So what if they were? If you push us. We can make those rumors a reality at any time. All right, I'd like to see you try. Hey, yeah. what's the point of all those rumors anyway? What exactly are you trying to do? I don't have to tell you anything. If you turn around, go back to the dormitories and act like you never saw anything, then I'll pretend that you never showed up here. Yeah, scram. Nothing worth seeing here. There's something calling me. I have to go. Huh? What did you say? Isn't that exactly what boss said when he left? Hey, do you know our boss? Yeah, Child Tartaglia? The one uh, Shneshnaya for two Harbinger? Oh, we had no idea our boss was such a big deal. He always kept his identity a secret. So, did he have you come here to find us? Oh, so your child's crew here? Seems like he had no problem fitting in. I'm a friend of his. We came here. Uh, we came here to learn what happened to him. We're the only ones who heard him say those words when he left that night. So unless he somehow told you those exact same words after that, hmm. All right. I guess that's proof enough for me. I believe you. Well, good. Move. Wow. Those dreams of yours sure come in handy. We gave him the business for a while, and would always give him a hard time when he first came to the fortress of Maripede. But here in the fortress, the strong will always earn respect. He was working the longest hours and racking up wins in the Pancration Ring. You could always see how amazing he was, even when he was teaching us a lesson. So eventually, we all decided to follow him. Makes sense. But one day... He suddenly told us that he had to find a way to escape this place, no matter the cost. He said it was because he heard that call again. Hmm. 
And as his crew, if the boss wants something, then it's our job to get it done. So, we got to work, and use the hidden rules that were here to make up and spread the rumor about the cannibal rule. We just wanted to give him a better chance of escaping on a night after the pipes had been cleaned. Oh, thanks to your rumor, nobody would want to come anywhere near here, prisoner or guard. Wow, it sure is easy to exploit people's fear of the unknown. But has a child already escaped? Why are you all still coming here after pipe cleaning day? Because as far as we know, the pipe he went into isn't actually an exit. It should be a dead end. Oh. It leads to an abandoned factory area, and even if there were a way to escape from there into the sea, we're still way too deep. No one could ever reach the surface alive. But Boss still insisted on going in. It's like he was obsessed about it. So we told him that we'd pretend as if he never existed while he was gone. What if, like, this is uh, one of those myths? Where, uh, like the mermaids, they, they sing some kind of song or stuff like that with their beautiful voice or whatever, and then they lure you into to the sea and like drowning yourself or something like that, or they will drag you into the water or something. I remember something like that. And that if he wanted to come back, he should wait for night time on a pipe cleaning day. That way, we could meet him here and help cover the whole thing up. So you come and wait here through the night a few times a month just because of that promise? Yeah, but it's been so long now. We already know in our hearts that he must have managed to escape somehow. Oh, that's great. Hopefully he didn't uh, escape. <laughs> is it also possible that something unfortunate happened to him? And what I think more is like... It's so weird, he still got convicted, right? So... He must have done something. Nothing could ever defeat Boss or slow him down. It's one thing we know for sure. Okay, okay. Pina was just brainstorming possibilities. Can you take us there? We want to go to the spot where he left. Alright. Keep quiet and follow us. Alright. I thought we were gonna play more of this sneaky game. It was ki kind of easy. I thought it would be way harder. Like I thought we actually had to sneak and stuff like that. Not much of that, really. Frog. Oh, I was about to take it. Oh, the way up from here has been sealed off. It's impossible to get through. Boss left by going down from here. It uh, wasn't full of water at the time. Later, we came back, hoping to have a look. That's when we found out it had been completely flooded. Oh, dang. It's impossible to navigate unless you're an extremely skilled diver. Do you think Child got trapped by the water? Not likely. We all know that Boss was an incredible swimmer. I know a good diver. Really? Then have him come investigate, pronto. Just be sure to tell us if you get any news about Boss. It's getting late. We should leave before the guards come this way. Alright. Yeah, we learned a lot about what happened to Child here. Let's get going! I mean, we can dive pretty good, no? God dang it! <sighs> we finally learned some key information! Seems all of our investigative work has finally started to pay off! When you said you knew a diver, you were talking about Fremine, right? If we ask Linny, he'll definitely have Fremine help us. Oh. Oh, we were thinking of Fremine. Oh, I was thinking you were we were talking about ourselves. Never mind. <laughs> Why is Child like this? What was he doing going into the pipes? Not making our jobs easier, that's for sure. Fortunately, though, it seems like it's only a matter of time now before we find out what really happened. Now that we can finally relax, Paimon's starting to feel super sleepy. <sighs> Let's try to get some rest while we still can. Nighty night, Traveler! Yeah, we might get like a few hours, like one, two hours sleep. Oh! <laughs> that was that's an interesting way to end it, alright. 
All right, uh, on to the next one. It's morning already. Paimon oh, still needs more sleep. Let's use some coupons to keep our shift this morning. Let's take the morning off. Huh? Wait, look over there. Isn't that? Huh? It's one of Lenny's cards. Oh, Lenny, you're right. It's been a while since we contacted him. I forgot that I, I need to press Let Paimon see what's written on it. Maybe you haven't heard, but today is the monthly free day. Everyone has the day off today, which makes it the perfect time to do some investigating. Oh, interesting. It's been a while since we last talked. Have you been making any progress lately? Let's meet at our usual spot in the factory area before lunchtime. I have new information. All right, all right. Ooh, today's our lucky day. We have the day off. From the sound of it, Lenny has been making progress with his investigation. Wonder what he's discovered. Hmm. We still have some time before we meet up. Let's talk with the people here for a bit more before we go. Fine. Oh. Yeah, more achievements. <laughs> I love achievements. We love achievements. Uh, okay, so everyone is down here, so. Okay, let's go here first. Hop. Look, there are some people talking over there. Let's listen in on the conversation. If you ask me, those pompous parasites on the surface act like they're all a bunch of aristocrats. Do any of them give half a hoot about a bunch of dogs like us? You know, I still, I, 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 you know, one, one random thing I just want to point out here, or, or not point out here. It's not non, it's not related to this quest or anything. It's just like, I, I hope that maybe they won't do that. Oh man. I wanted to kind of a rework on the Hydro Traveler. No, no, not full rework, maybe maybe some kind of... Maybe make her ult at least like stay in one place instead of just going super fast towards one direction. Instead it's like stays in one place and apply that Hydro application can do and create bubbles or, or something like that. That would be good. That would be good. Use that, you use that and it creates like Maybe three bubbles or, or something like that. That would be crazy. Uh, it would be more crazy if even like it, it has like a pulling effect, like a vortex is like dragging people in. Like that that would be gr that would be awesome. Then I would just use her uh, to to use her all. That would be great. Hey, speak for yourself, mate. I'm no dog. Oh, you think you're special or something? If you're here, then you're just a convict like the rest of us. I've heard that even if you're released after serving your sentence, going back to life on the surface ain't any better. Once a criminal, always a criminal. We're marked for life. Uh, That's don't why you don't start. That. That's why you don't start, boys. Hey, how cool would it be if the whole world was destroyed by a giant flood and everyone had to start over from nothing? Ha uh ha, -huh, very, very, very fun. What kind of filthy bilge water are you spewing? I have family up there. You best shut your sewer hole with talk like that. She Listen, things ain't so great on the surface, but who says that you have to leave? I've heard that you can still stay here and work even after you've served your sentence. Not bad if you ask me. Who wants to live in the ruddy overworld anyway? <laughs> yeah, let's just breathe in this mold air man mold the air dude and what makes you think they'd want to hire someone like you <laughs> that's one of the great mysteries of the universe how someone as useless as you is so confident damn this guy's going whoa sounds like they're really unhappy about the overworld speaking of which Paimon never heard anyone use the words overworld or underworld when we were living up there is it only 
probably something the inmates down here say? Hmm, I think you're right. It's normal for comics to be unhappy. That's true. What are you expecting them to be? Happy? Yeah, dude! I'm so happy to be in prison, dog! Yeah! I'm so happy right now. I'm stoked. Alright, let's see. Who is over here? There's a group of people over there. Let's go listen in. Okay. Let's see what they're talking about. So I said, that's not a faucet. Hey, hey who are you two? Why'd you come over all of a sudden? Wait, why? We can't. We can listen in. Oh, uh, sorry for eavesdropping. Sounds like you were talking about something private. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, what's the matter? <laughs> They're just looking to join in on our fun. That's all. Exactly. Hey, don't pretend like it's okay for them to just interrupt us like that. Yeah, <sighs> fine. You're lucky we don't mind extroverts that much. Thank you guys, uh, uh, thanks. You guys are really nice. <laughs> you hear that, Quisto? What nice! Your expressions tell me you're looking to hear some juicy info, am I right? <laughs> but before that, it just so happens that I know you two. Oh. Really? Are we that famous? You're kidding. How often does anyone get a personal tour led by His Grace himself? Practically everyone was talking about it. Word has it that you also caused quite the kerfuffle. Oh, <laughs> it was a little mistake. A little mistake, huh? I like the way you put it. You see, people with a good attitude can join our group anytime. Unlike some of the others here. Your group? I'm Cuisto, and this is Lavaroon. People usually call us the Bombshell Bros, but don't worry, <laughs> we're not playing with bombs or anything. It's just that our information is always so explosive, and we blow minds on the regular. Okay, dude. <laughs> so, you two really like to gossip? Whew, you sure know how to embellish. No, no. You don't get it. Knowing intelligence will make things better for you here. For example, knowing who's working with whom. Who has the latest rumors? Who's not getting along? Wouldn't you like to know all that? What was that? What ha what happened to the game? You guys hear it? You suddenly just stop. It's like I'm I'm talking to you guys right now, and that just happens. You know, isn't it weird? I I, don't, I swear to God, I heard it like that, right? Or did I did I just space out? Sure, fill us in. Uh, on my oh 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 my archon, uh, I'd love to know. Please tell me. Whoa, all this info's worth something, you know. You should prove you're worthy of it. Uh, okay. And how should I do that? I don't mind him. Quisto's always this way. Just play nice and say something to massage his ego. Uh, nice hair. The welfare meals. Talk about the welfare meals. Uh. We ate the most incredible welfare meal recently. Right, right! That meal we had yesterday was super delicious. Paimon can still taste it whenever she closes her eyes. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> to tell you the truth, I've been helping out with making those welfare meals. I've been working as a kitchen assistant for about a month and a half now. Dang. Oh, so you're the one who made those delicious steaks. Amazing. You could be a professional chef. Dude, imagine like marrying a person that's good at cooking. Oh. Oh man. That is amazing. Like, I, you know, it's it's just bro. Uh, just imagine you, you, you like like she or he would be so good at cooking, right? You know, uh, they might know some stuff where they can just learn on the fly because they're just that good, or they can kind of guess how to make it, right? You'd be like, oh my god, I'm so, you know, I really want to eat this, you know, babe, can you please, like, make something like that? And he's like, I got you, I got you. And then you'd have to worry about the food, and it's right there. It's like, bam! It's, ah, oh, 
dude. Ah oh, man, that would be great. It, or you could be that yourself. You could be that 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 person yourself and just learn how to cook. But sometimes you're just too lazy. Cooking can be sometimes fun, but it, you know sometimes it's not really a passion of mine. So, but that would be crazy though. 